I've had the Lincoln Powercraft welder now for a few months. And the one thing I've got to attend to yet is it doesn't fit on my standard welding trolley very well. I didn't realise it was going to be this long. How long is it to show you? We would say it's 550 long just to the front face. No, she's a big girl. And the problem is I don't like that overhang. And it also, if it slides too far back, which I've got to push forward a little bit, they put the power cord in the middle, which hits on the gas bottle. I might even email Lincoln and see if they'll listen to me. Why couldn't they have put it over in that corner over there? And it would shoot out nicely beside the bottle, but this doesn't work. So I want to have it so it stays forward like about there. Also need to practice bending sheet metal for all the brackets and stuff on the toy hauler. So good little project. I'm going to take this tray out. Probably bend up a new one out of alley. So yeah, let's take some measurements of this. Take this tray out. Mark it up on the sheet over there and um, yeah, see if I can bend it up without stuffing it up. See how many times this takes me. I think the longest I can fit into my pan brake is 620 millimeter. I really need about 650, but I'll probably do. Okay, it's cut out. Got the corners cut out so I can make the folds. Let's give it a crack. Got my 600 mil pan brake here from Man's Toy Shop. It only bends one mil mild steel, probably two mil alley easily. But using a cheetah bar, you can bend two and a half. The rest of the canopy is going to be in two mil, so I just want to use this bit up. I might start with bending that edge down first. It's hard to tell where the 90 degree is. That's a little bit further, but. That's the bit I'm struggling with at the moment is where to stop. That's facing down, so that's alright. That's better. It's on 90. I'm going to 45 these two edges, and I think it might help me get it in the handbrake. Okay, take two. I just 45 those off. That's so close. You gotta leave that at a nine. Okay. This one's gonna be hard because it's full length bend. Quick release. Squat. Cross it. Look at that. Not good on the back though. Jeez. Okay, so. Alright. Let's do it again. Look at these. It worked. Success. That's a bit messy, but I might just fold that over. We'll get this uh, tape off, clean these burrs up. Seems to be a lot of aluminium dust when I'm doing this, so I try to wear a mask most of the time. These step drills are the bomb for this kind of stuff. If you've ever wondered what the hook is there's a winch up there the hook comes down there i haven't used it in ages but i do a lot of stuff by myself so we'll figure out other ways to lift things i need to get this back off and on the ground it's starting to get a little bit heavy 
The deep cycle battery down here, hook it up to the winch controller. It's just a cheap winch off a buggy. Never hop under a suspended load, kids. Don't do what I do. Put on some trestles so it's at a decent working height. And trestles or a horse? Horse. Okay. I'll leave it up to the crane just in case it falls off. I've got about 50 TIG welds to go on this thing, so that's gonna be the Savi. Needs to be done. You've already seen some of that, so let's time lapse it. Yep. So I finally just finished all the welding on the canopy. I severely underestimated how many welds are on this thing. So you would have seen the last episode. That time lapse is at 10,000%. So what's that, 100 times speed? Um, yeah, there'll be a ton more time lapse in this, but finally finished. Now I need to go through and just flappy wheel. All the edges are gonna have a mating surface with the skin. Um, then the skins. I can't bend that sort of length at home. I can do little brackets and things like that, but I do want it to look half professional, not like a backyard hack job that most of my stuff looks like. So um, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna engage a local fabrication company. Already been over and seen them. Um, I can supply the sheets, the measurements, all that sort of stuff, and they can just bend the sheets up, and then I'll bring it back here and then sit the sheets on and weld them. So um, shouldn't cost me too much and should look pretty good. If they're happy with me filming, I might film a little bit of B-roll and stuff over there, show you that, um, see how we go. But yeah, pretty much grab a couple of flap discs and put a mask on and just start flap wheeling all the welds back so they're all flush where the sheets go. So um, yeah, let's do that. it for another weekend a bit of a delay this week i do myself a mischief on the tiles and smashed a hole through my lip five stitches later so couldn't talk properly but back into it now not the most exciting episode but thanks for watching it's all got to be done heaps of welding finished and yeah practicing my bending skills and fixing up the welding trolley over the next week or so i'll be continuing on with the flat deck trailer with the bits that i need to get registered so brakes um, wiring it up, all that sort of stuff, safety chains. So get that bit done. But concurrently with that, I'm also preparing the Prado for a pretty decent four wheel drive trip that I've decided to do kind of last minute. Got that coming up in uh, about three weeks. So probably have a couple of four wheel drive maintenance and mod and that sort of video. So I'll be throwing them in amongst the toy hauler. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Don't forget you can get sneak peeks over at Instagram, on the Facebook page and TikTok where I also do beer reviews and also share sneak peeks of what else I'm doing in the shed. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next week.